Well, this is an exciting week for us with IVF. Yep, we actually get to start some treatments mm -hmm. and a couple of initial doctor visits, paying all, all the, the money cash. up front. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fun. So I've officially finished birth control. We've also finished our Z-packs. Our Z and so it's nice to have those out of the way and so these next few weeks are going to be super intense where we have doctor's appointments like almost every other day yep. but it is going to be super awesome and i'm super grateful because jake's able to come with me to all of them i've been going to all of my previous appointments all by myself yeah so it'll be nice for the if past I can, years i can go along too <laughs> so this will be nice to like have them here for all the process and i don't know it's fine going to appointments and stuff by yourself but it's just nice to like have a buddy and especially yeah. like tomorrow where it's just like a big appointment yeah so, well, all this start starting off so yeah so we're just going over our consent, consent forms, forms right now so we're just gonna read through all those and sign them and then we also are gonna do our injection videos so tonight we have to review the injection videos so tomorrow at we our appointment if we have any questions or things like that um, our friends Emily and Brett, who have done IVF four times now, were so nice and came over and gave Jake and I like tons of tips with our shots and all Talk of that. All the medications. And yeah. after they left, I was like so excited, which I never thought I would be saying about injections that I'm excited about them. <laughs> Like I really am though like I'm like yes, let's finally do this like it means that like we're making progress and Starting this is all out. happening so I know because all the preliminary prelim preliminary <laughs> yeah that word all that <laughs> stuff is like it's just a lot because you're just getting your finances ready you're just getting your body ready you have to do the birth control and all of that stuff so it's nice to feel like we're actually like doing, doing something. something that feels like we're gonna get pregnant you know I'm excited. How about you? I am too. Yeah. All right, guys. Let's do this. Be sure to have all of the following items Ooh. before you begin. One Follistim pen. Videos. Hold the pen body are pretty firmly great. in one hand. Can you hear and it? And pull off the protective <laughs> cap with higher pen body from the cartridge holder. Place the cartridge holder and the pen body on a clean, dry surface. Wow. So we're trying to watch the videos, but it's asking questions that we have no right, idea no, about. So we found out with the Minipore box that we're with Q caps. Yep, we have Q caps in it, and it's under the skin. Under so, the skin. Cutaneous. <laughs> I'm learning Not so much, guys. The other one. <laughs> Okay, so we're here today for our first baseline. Yep, I just had to do a urine sample and yeah, baseline ultrasound and then... Some blood work. It'll be good. And paying for everything. And signing consent forms. Signing consent forms. So Kelsey just peed in a cup just now. Yeah, I have to get ready for my uh, ultrasound. ultrasound though. <laughs> so this is an ultrasound. Not the normal kind. This is called a vaginal ultrasound, which does not look very pleasant. <laughs> Just finished our appointment. Yep, so this is our baseline, and Kelsey did great so far. There, we're gonna find out from blood work if we can start doing injections tomorrow. But yeah, she they probably said will everything be able to. looks good to go, but they'll call us just to confirm and make sure. So that was something I wasn't aware about. I thought that we could just like go ahead and get started, no matter but what. But that's but why I guess they check your blood levels. So when they took my blood, they took out three vials. Yeah, because some of it's going for infectious diseases. Some of it is also just going for um, hormone and mm -hmm. endocrinology type stuff. And so anyway, yeah, Kelsey has lots of eggs. Yes, apparently that from the was ultrasound. good. They said it was looking good that if I got 10 to 20, they said that that, that should be, be like really great. So that sounds exciting. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Lots of eggs. We came to Walmart to grab a few supplies for tomorrow because we needed gauze pads for our injections. So we found some sterile gauze pads. Had to pick up a few of these because, you know, just happens for this whole process. <laughs> Worth it. And then we also need to get some Tylenol because I'm not allowed to take like any, any medications or any medicine or anything for the pain. You can take baby aspirin, um, but I asked the nurse today because I was like, is there anything else we can take? And she said, um, you can also do Tylenol, but you can't do it like right before you go under to get your egg retrieval because I guess it like thins out your blood or something. So we can use it earlier. So I'm gonna pick up some Tylenol too because we don't have any of that. 
We also found a heat pad. Our sweet friend from YouTube, Annie, recommended this. So excited to try it. So Kelsey has all these needles stuck in her for acupuncture. It's so awesome. Oh, and you have some stuck in your head. I don't know if you know that. There's one straight up stuck in your head. That's so awesome. So we just got home from all our doctor's appointments and someone was out of their crate and Jake just told me to go look at the office and said it's bad. So let's check it out. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this this is a little a little bad. Oh my goodness. And he also got to the blinds in our bedroom. The crazy thing is I'm not even mad because it's been a good day. I just like feel bad that he gets like so anxious and yeah, bummer. Hey you, oh now you're being a good boy. We get home and then you're a good boy. <laughs> so we got a call from uh, the doctor's office and Kelsey's lab work turned out great. Um, all our blood work said that she's good to go hormone level wise and so we get to start um, injections tomorrow first thing. So I'm just getting everything ready. Um, obviously I still have some medication that's refrigerated that I'll have to grab first thing in the morning. But in the meantime, just getting everything ready to go here so that tomorrow it's, we're good to go.